Welcome back to Wood Science 6 for a reading on potential and kinetic energy. So this is the first paragraph on potential and kinetic energy. And let's just look at some questions to be thinking about. How do we understand energy? What is energy? What does energy do? What is matter? How does matter behave in the presence of energy? And so as we think about this, um, let's mark this first paragraph as paragraph one. And as we think about this, let's just think about how matter and energy are related. Are they the same thing? Are they different? Let's read. Did you know that everything in the world can be categorized, categorized into two categories? These two groups or categories would be matter and energy. So if something's not matter, it is energy. Energy is all around us. We can see it as light, feel it as heat, hear it as sound, use it as we work. So let's investigate the forms of energy, the sources of energy, and how energy can be transformed. So would you please um, get your green pencil and uh, you have these two words marked right here energy and matter and if you would let's just take a look um, we should have a pretty good understanding of what matter is uh, we, we studied matter so let's just we should know what it is so let's just come up here and we're gonna link up to matter and we're gonna say that matter is um, matter is atoms that make up elements. Okay, so matter that make up elements and elements make up substances. You guys are taking these notes. So matter, it's, it's stuff. Okay, it's stuff. Well, what about energy? Well, if something is not matter, what is it? It's energy. If something is not matter, it's energy. So we can see energy as light. So let's just get some links here. We can see energy as light. We see energy as heat. It can be sound. You can link right up here to there, if you like. And this is kind of key. We use energy as we work. So I want you to be thinking about how could you do an experiment? What could you do? How could you do an experiment uh, that would show that energy has something to do with work. Be thinking about that. So let's just look at these two pictures. So we see here um, energy. We see here, I've got a picture of the sun, and the idea here is let me get a little different color. Maybe we can do this in uh, red. Okay, so we see the sun. We know that the sun, I think everybody understands that the sun. Uh, represents energy. The most basic form of energy, the sun. Okay, and you can tag this here, solar. Okay, but what we're really talking about is talking about radiation. Okay. So radiant energy. And then over here, we're looking at matter. And we see that matter can be a solid. Matter can be in a liquid phase. Matter can be in a gaseous state. Sometimes you guys call these states of matter. OK, so states or phases. phases of matter. And sometimes 
and we don't really talk about it that much in elementary school or middle school, but we're not going to deny that, you know, this understanding that sometimes matter can actually become um, plasma. And what we look at, and what we can see in this little picture, is we can see what happens because of energy. So what happens because of energy? When we add energy, we have a phase change. When we add energy, we have a f So energy changes matter. Well, that's pretty simple, pretty basic, but to, just to get us started, uh, make sure you have all these these couple little things circled and make sure you've got um, the descriptions here and um, there is let's let's there is a there is a main idea that we should get here and so once you get your blue and let's come down here if you would and let's just get this um, everything in the world can be organized everything into two categories Okay, and these, oops, and these two categories are matter and energy. Okay, so make sure you get that in blue. And um, if you'll make sure you've got everything marked here, make sure you've got your, you might want to sketch this little uh, picture on the left-hand side, solids, when you add energy to matter, it changes. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing some things, we've actually... Uh, got some things planned to do in class that will help you to understand this.